reflect. In my camp, it's a big issue. It's a big deal. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> but I did not understand the meaning well. Now the more I understand it, the more I go to the depths with God, the more I understand the meaning of Christmas. It's just overwhelming. How could God leave his glory to come to this world just for me? Just for me. I always say just for me alone. Amen. Hallelujah. It humbles me. It humbles me. Like the way Sister Lois was saying, it touched me so deeply that he can go and speak to the wise men. He revealed himself in many areas, in many ways, for people to know that my son has been born. Go and worship him. That's all why he was letting people to go there, just to go and worship him. Hallelujah. Amen. That's all what God wants from us, to worship him. Let tomorrow be a day of worship. Yes. Let's cheat that day to God. I was asking many people today. <coughs> Let's think about what a gift to give to God yeah. on this day. Yeah. Let it be a gift of worship. Yes. Yes. Tomorrow, let everyone keep your heart and say, Lord, I want to worship you. Clean your heart. Clean it. Wash it. Ask him to purify you. Make a, a deal with him tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so excited. Yes. I'm so excited. I, I had a, a, a sad news. I lost my cousin. For some reason, I was shaken. It became so tough for me as a one calls me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I say, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a life. What a life. I started thinking about life. This is a woman God really blessed. She had only one child. She had a very beautiful family. I said, why did I give you to keep me alive? She passed at the age of 56. I said, oh my goodness. I remember Sister Pat Fazi passed at the age of 42. And all those things came to my mind. I said, my goodness. I'm blessed. We still have bread. We still have bread. Let's forget about the challenges we're going through. Let's get closer to God. Let this day be a day of renewing our love to Him. All these challenges we have, they will go. I remember on Friday, God gave us a message. He said, a righteous man has so many afflictions, but he will deliver him from them all. You might be having so many afflictions now. Glory be to God. God is going to deliver you from them all. And let's trust him now. Let's trust the Lord more and more and more. Unfortunately, I left my glasses more because it was really amazing today. <laughs> Even I want to dress up before I shower. Oh <laughs> <laughs> and then John, I came to my room and said, Mom, when did you shower? <laughs> I said, oh my gosh, I didn't shower. So I had to go back to the shower. Oh, God. <laughs> I knew it was the bed. Yes. Oh. Oh. It messed me up so badly. Oh. But God is good. Amen. Amen. God allows such things to come so that we get stronger in Him. Amen. Yes, we are going to go to the book of uh, Luke, chapter 2. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is food in our flesh? Smoking. Smoky, do your job. Yes. Yes. 
feel like telling you to stop. So it's Luke 2. Luke chapter 2. And after that we shall go. My, my message is in the book of Isaiah. But I just want us to read this. Yeah, start from verse 2. Luke chapter 2. Verse one. Do we all have our Bibles? Yeah. yeah. Today, yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If we did not have our Bibles, 2018 should get us with Bibles. Go buy for yourself as a Christmas gift a Bible. Amen. Amen. Let that be a gift to yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We cannot lie to ourselves that we love God and we cannot buy Bible. <laughs> We need a Bible. Me too, I have two. Yes, one. one and two. Amen. We need Bibles. We need Bibles. There's a difference when we read the Bible. Thank yeah. God for this. We need the Word. <laughs> Very abusive. They did a good job. That's our Asher. Okay, are we together? Yes. Okay. Start. Luke chapter 2, verse 1. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, into the city of David, which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed that Mary is the spouse wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And they went in the same country, shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in spotting clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace, good will towards men. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow! Yes. He was born. Yes. He went and revealed it to the wise men. Yes. And uh, let me tell you, God is so amazing. According to the scholars, these wise men were not clean people. These were dirty, demonic people. But God let them know his son was born. He let them know something is happening in the kingdom of God. 
He went and revealed himself to them fast. There were God's people around. There were Pharisees around. He left all this group. He went to the wise men. That challenged me when I was leading it. He said, my God has a deep plan for humanity. No matter who the person is, don't undermine that person. God has a plan for his people. Amen. That's why he said, that the angels said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings. Good news. Amen. Jesus is good news. Amen. Of great joy, which will be to all people of great joy. It saddens my spirit, we children of God, after knowing Christ to be our personal savior. We still allow the devil to drop his seed of sadness, of misery in our lives. This is a great joy for me and you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We need to cheer ourselves in the Lord. Amen. We need to know the Lord is my strength. Yes. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. Jesus has been gone. There is no worries. Whatever you are going through, glory be to God. Amen. Cheer yourself in him. Let me tell you, nobody will give you joy. No, no, no. Nothing in this world will give you joy. Yeah. Everything you think will give you joy is a lie. Yeah. It's only Christ yeah. who gives yeah. you joy. Yeah. If you lack joy in your life, go look for God. Yes. Seek his face for joy. Yes. No matter how hard the challenges around you. Yeah. But if you seek God's face and you find God, you will find joy. He said, that is the only part I want us to be stuck because we are going to the book of Isaiah. He said, then the angels, then the angels, no, then the angels said to them, no, then the angels said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy which will be to all kind. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. That's why we're celebrating Christmas. Yes. That's why the my Savior, let me personalize it, yes. my Redeemer, Amen. Yes. God. Yes. God. Amen. Amen. If he was not born, Amen. he would not die. die. That's yes. right. He has to be yes. born. Amen. Amen. We have to know there was the day he was born. Amen. Sincerely, it was not 20 Yes. But as humans, yes. we have decided to put it. Yes. Even if the pagans put it, shame on them. Amen. We've done it for good. Amen. But the devil had blood for bad. We have done it for good. God Amen. has done it to be on our own. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. But our God is turning it up. Amen. Good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. We need to celebrate this day in a mighty way. Yes. Because there is a good news. Amen. Has been brought to me and to you. Praise God. Good tidings. Amen. Praise God. Rejoice. Yes. Victory. Celebration. Yes. To God. Yes, Holy this is the saddest part here. Mm -hmm. He said, For there is born to you the day, this day, in the city of David, a savior. savior who is Christ the Lord. the Lord. And this will be as a sign to you. You will find a bed wrapped in a swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. You see this sad part? He was in a manger. Yes. He was not in a five-star hotel. Yes. And this is a God who is the of the 
because when I reach home, I just go home, pick my rapper, straight to church. I prayed the whole night. I did not say what I was praying. Mm. That is great secret in praise. Yes. Because every creation praised him. Yes. What he said here is, it touched me so bad that and suddenly here I was. Angel. With the angel is multitude of the heaven hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and good towards men. Wow! 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 Praise be to God! Praise be to God! into things and they bring sadness to us. You know when we tie ourselves too much into things, yes. those things drag us away from the peace of God. We need to cut ourselves loose. Let 2018 be a year you cut loose. Amen. Surrender all and go to pray. <coughs> Let these surroundings be there but here yeah, my God. Sometimes people think you're good, but you are connected. Yeah. Hallelujah. <coughs> Say the multitude of heavenly hosts. Praise God. Say glory. 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 Because they know the value of this baby being born. Coming to save man from sin. Coming to bring Deliverance to humanity. Hallelujah! Amen. You have a reason to praise the living God. Amen. Amen. What you think is a problem is not a problem. Amen. It's just attachment to something. Yes. yes. When you get out of that attachment, when you let go and give all to God, yes. the joy of the Lord will be over you. You will start saying, Oh my goodness. Amen. Why I was in this bondage. My Lord. And God will start fixing the problem. Yes. Amen. That means, let me tell you, when you let go and you leave it to God yes. and you say, God, fix it. Yes. Yes. Ah. yes Lord. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's very dangerous. Yeah. God will start fixing it in a way you don't understand. Yes. Yeah. Yes. There's a young man, <coughs> he had a, a problem. But this problem was not ending. He was having a serious problem. We prayed and we prayed and we prayed and we couldn't get through. Guess what was the problem? God himself was doing what he was doing on him. Because God wanted for himself. The wife was praying that this man will serve you. And the man was struggling. He didn't want to serve God. The Lord afflicted him. The Lord fixed him. The Lord challenged him until time which he said, I'm going to serve God. Amen. And when he started serving God, that was the end of Amen. We cannot compromise. That's right. Some of our challenges, let's check ourselves. Yes. 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 Don't delay. Yes. Check yourself. Mm -hmm. Evaluate your service to God. Yes. Yes. Evaluate your heart. Yes. Is your heart really fully today yes. for him? Sometimes if we evaluate our hearts, we might just find our heart 10% for the Lord. True. Yeah. True. But the Lord expects us to give all to Him. Oh, that's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. And when we give our heart all to Him, praise will not be a problem to our lips. Amen. Praise will be one of our food in the midst of challenges. Amen. Challenges will come, they will hit you hard. You will not feel the weight because it's no more your problem. Amen. It belongs to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight is our night of praise. Amen. And this is our month of praise too. Thank so sometimes we are rushing to the book of Isaiah chapter, chapter 7. You will read that and we're gonna go also to Isaiah chapter 9. That is where we will finish. Tomorrow, back to the king.
cake. Who is bringing the back of the cake? <laughs> they are bringing the back of the gifts to the stage. Sincerely, let's be sincere. You're going to celebrate Jesus' birth. That's it. It's like you're celebrating your own birthday. Wait for your birthday. Why are you robbing the Savior? Tomorrow is his, his birthday. Let's give all to him. Hallelujah. Tomorrow is his day. We are robbing the man. We want it to be our birthday. We want the gifts to ourselves. We want the cake to ourselves. And guess what type of cake we want with the ram? Yes. <laughs> ram cake. cake, yes. Ram cake. Yes. Black cake. We use we are so smart, we put we don't black ask them out because we're Christians. No. So black cake. Ram cake. <laughs> ram cake. Ram it's cake. not your day. It's his day. It's his birthday. Let's give it all to him. <laughs> Let him be number one tomorrow. There's a song which says, Sister Lois is still preparing the message there, scripture. It says, Jesus, number one, 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 number one. God will let Jesus be number one. Amen. So are we together? Um, uh, the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. I'll give you 
Amen. The church of Christ today has been deceived yes. because we don't want to make him our friend. Yes. We want somebody to care yes. for us. Yes. That used to be. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. But when the curtain was boom, oh. relationship started. Yes. Hallelujah. Now we have relationship with him. Me and you, we are blessed. To have a relationship with the Creator. He talks to us. He talks to us. God talks to us. Amen. Amen. Many times we ignore it, but He does talk to us. Hallelujah. Had I given, I knew that my sister, my cousin, died, but I couldn't touch it. I couldn't understand what was going on. Because I had visitors in my house. Something was not right. My inner man was communicating to me. I kept on shutting him down. Until this morning, when the shock came, I said, oh my gosh, something was like this behind him. Hallelujah. Amen. He's our friend. Yes, he is. said, I will never do anything without telling my prophets. Yes. Yes. We are his children. We are his prophets. God's word is real. Amen. I really thank God for Sister Lois for taking me to Israel. That one journey changed my whole entire life. I was a born again. I never doubted God. Never. I really used to believe in him. But walking the land Jesus walked, did something completely different. Mm -hmm. Completely. I don't know how I can explain it. It has no explanation how my faith changed. My faith grew. I don't know the sign of maturity. I don't know. I don't know how I can explain it, but something happened in me in that land of Israel. Came to life. When I was reading this part where it talks about Nazareth, it talks about Bethlehem. I said, oh my gosh. Really? It happened. It really happened. Because I walked in with my inquisitive. I touch it. I even touch a small danger. Oh my gosh, it made a big difference to me. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. When I set my mind to serve him, I am serving him. No retreat, no surrender. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because yes. God is real love. Mm -hmm. He's Emmanuel. He's God with us. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He's God with us. Yes. He is in me. Don't doubt God no matter what situation you are having. He's with you. Amen. He will never leave you. Amen. He will never forsake you. Amen. Do not doubt if he's really in you. Yes. You know, sometimes we want to do things with emotion. Mm -hmm. No, we don't serve God with emotion. Mm -hmm. We serve God with faith. Yes. I don't feel the presence of God. You don't need to feel the presence of God. The presence of God lives in you. How do you feel it? Hallelujah. Amen. Just be connected. Amen. He's in you. Oh, I don't feel the presence of God. Keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, the worship team did not do a good job. The anointing was not flowing. Amen. It was down. Who said? You were not flowing. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The presence of God is always there. Sometimes Amen. he does things quietly. Right. Sometimes he, he does things the way he yeah. Yeah. Ah, I love this man. He's so awesome. Now let's continue. Isaiah chapter 9. This prophet Isaiah, my goodness. He was blessed. The things he talked about. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 9. Are we together? Yes. Uh, Verse 6. 
Say glory be to God. There is victory to humanity. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Enough is enough. Revelation comes to set us free. Amen. We need to know who we are in Christ. Amen. This is a year we need to take by force. Because a child has been born. accept him. Yes, yes. Once you accept him to be your personal savior, yes. you start reigning with him. Yes, yes. You start reigning with him yes. because he's in you. Yes, he's Emmanuel. Yes, Lord. God is Emmanuel. Amen. He lives with humanity. Yes. He lives with man. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 When devil was thrown on us. <laughs> He thought he had finished. If you go according to the book of Revelation, he thought he had control. But lie! He has no control over humanity! We are going to rule and reign with Christ. Because the government is in his soul. The victory belongs to our God. The power Belongs to our God. Hallelujah. And he's the man who reigns with me. Hallelujah. I will reign with God. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Blessed be your name. Not only once, he says he's a cancer. Yes. Church, the pain will 
come out, just sit down, helpless. When I sweat, you can't believe the whole clothes will go wet. If I'm holding a child, the child will just fall off. <coughs> One day, his neighbor told him this scripture. He said, Do you know you are serving the mighty God? Yes. He said, why don't you trust God? I say I do trust God. He said, but I say I do pray. I've been to intercessors every day. I don't know why. He said, no. I want to activate your faith. The man started telling me about the devil. He degraded the devil until I realized the devil had no rules. Then he started raising my faith by telling me, when we think, when I realize that God, whom I know, all these years I've been saying I'm serving, is a mighty God. I start crying when I'm praying, my body was shivering. I was so shocked. I said, but God, all these years I thought I know you. And that was the day. Up to today, I've never got that attack. Amen. We need to know we are serving a mighty God. We are serving a powerful God. He's able. He's faithful. He's a prince of peace. Hallelujah. He is a prince of peace. That is where we have failed to be children of God. The devil has really robbed our peace. And he never gives us peace. He never gives us peace. He never gives us peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't allow what he has not given for him to have. We are going to trust God with it. We are going to trust God with it. This is a month of praise. I want us to praise God with our circumstances. I want our situations to praise God. What is that situation you have? Praise God with it. Accept that every situation will serve my God. No matter what it is, that we are going to trust God now. We are going to pray. We are going to sing. We are going to lift his name up. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to lift the name of Jesus up. Amen. Another thing I want we are remaining with a few days for 2018. What challenge has been in 2017? Let's refuse it. These remaining days, let's devote ourselves in prayer. Ask the Lord to forgive us. Sometimes we pray in fear. We pray when we are doubting. We pray with our mouth, but our heart is not in our prayer. <coughs> I want us to pray knowing that this God answers prayer. He's not dead. He answers prayer. He listens. If he has not given you what you're asking for, he knows why he's doing. He knows the best. God will never deny what we ask. Because he's our father. Hallelujah. Amen. But let us intensify our prayer. We don't pray, but we expect so much. The Bible says we need to pray. We need to ask. Ask, and it shall be given. Knock the door. He will open. Speak. And you will find it. Hallelujah. Amen. We just try here and there and we give up. No. 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 God is so good. God is so faithful. Amen. And we're going to pray also for our brothers and sisters who have traveled. That the Lord will protect them. Some are traveling today. They have traveled with this hard weather. Like Jensen, two days, he was just rotating. 
They took him to Montreal. The weather was bad. They brought him to Toronto. Good enough, they were giving him hotels. <laughs> he was enjoying it. <laughs> Hallelujah. But today, Sister Gloria and the sister, they are traveling. Let's pray that the Lord will take them safely. We did pray in the morning, but we need to pray more. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we pray for those who are not here, that the Lord will protect them and bless them. This is a special season. Amen? Amen. And I want us to be very sensitive in the spirit. Because the Lord has really been revealing to me that this is a season of change. This is a season of change. As well, his positioning. We are entering in a, a year of quickening. He's going to quicken things. I don't know what it means, but he has not given me the revelation of that. He said, positions are changing. And he's going to quicken things. We have to pray. We have to intercede deeply. I want us to go deeper in intercession. Just plain. Don't complicate things. Just be plain. You know, sometimes we go and complicate things. Jesus died on the cross for me. He was born today. Just plain. Bring your prayer request to God. Be real to God. Be yourself. Many times when we pray, it's like we are complicating things. Prayer is just talking to God, communicating with God. Intercession is standing in the gap for somebody. I want us to be plain. Don't complicate things. Just talk to God. Ask him to forgive you. Clean your heart. We cannot go to God with somebody in our heart. We cannot go to God with bitterness. We cannot go to God with envy. I want us to clean and wash our hearts with the blood of Jesus. We thank God for the blood. You know, we are celebrating the, 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 the born, the, the baby yeah. big bath. Yeah, the bath of Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is just remembering. The blood has power. We ask the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse us. Hallelujah. There are some funny, funny characters in us. Ask Holy Spirit to Check your box. There are some characters in us that are not pleasing unto God. Let's ask God that open my box, expose me. I want to know my sin. Don't be shy when they expose your sin. It's good for you. Many times when prophecy comes, we don't want our sin to be exposed. We just want to know what is tomorrow. Amen. And it's not helping us. Why does it benefit me for me to tell you your tomorrow when your life is messed up? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's ask the Lord to cleanse us. Let him cleanse us. Really, we need to go to God in prayer. Amen. Amen. So we're going to take our offering first before we go to, to, to pray. I'm going to ask somebody to help me. 